Look at the beautiful old blue leaf. Ta da! Yes. Welcome to a brand new Jaguar I Pace EV320. The first time I'm actually trying it and I wanted to show you the fast charging curve or at least what you can expect to happen when you connect it with a low state of charge. After driving 400 kilometers or so over the weekend, some AC charging in between, the Jaguar is now at 3% and let's check the statistics so as you can see the three percent corresponds to 2.2 kilowatt hours if we have to ask power cruise control okay so here we are and it's time to connect it and let's first show you what Sixth did so how can you recognize an EV320 um, that's actually a great question this here doesn't show anything and it used to show EV400 so that's not gonna make it easy for you if you spot this button right there then you know that it's an EV320 because the old one the EV400 didn't have it it's to disconnect when charging on AC I don't know if it also happens on DC let's find out first I'm just gonna connect it and see what happens uh, with my AMBV ladder card and let's see what is the response Wow, that's really weird. It doesn't doesn't connect in a way that I would. It totally falls out, sort of. As you can see, it's very quick to start. Only 20 seconds. It's even faster than the Fiat 500e that I tried last week. And here we go. 90 kilowatts now of course we have to see what does power cruise control think and if I shut this down then what does it state over here Well, that's a very unimpressive uh, time frame. It's stable at 90 kilowatts. As you can see, the battery temperature is still 21 degrees. It is very interesting. The EV320. Ah, there's the ramp up. nearly 100 kilowatts still the time predicted stays the same ah and this one this one died that's strange i booted up the car to see what happens huh it drops Oh, when I power off the car, it goes up again. So usually the drop would come after two and a half minutes most of the time. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the amps here because Fastnet took them away. 
but as you can see yeah what can I tell you this is great charging speed of course <laughs> uh, never before have I wanted the charging speed to drop this looks pretty right 99.9 .9. Okay, so is this enough proof that the charging speed drops? I think so. I think we have a throttle here. Um, let's try and prove it by shutting down this session. So with the old Jaguar plug stays locked and here also but here everybody can press that button or it, I actually don't know if it recognizes that I have the key it might so here it starts no I'm sorry so here it starts if you own a Jaguar maybe even a brand new EV320 this is what you want to do the alarm lights are on yes they have to be on before you initiate the charging session you show your badge pick your charger plug it in even though it is unimpressive there's this it doesn't really stick but it seems to not really matter hey this is strange Huh, something happened. Or maybe that is the that is the plug. Well, let's retry. Interesting. Don't know what happened. These plugs are really heavy though. Oh, there's quite some twist to the cable. I just de-twisted it a bit. That's the sound. Twenty seconds in, and there it goes. Huh, 92. That's not a hundred. Prediction got a little lower, but not really enough. I'll show you this one also. Nearly 8 kilowatt hours in, battery temperature a little bit higher. But we're not at 100 kilowatts. Beautiful classic leaf in the Chadamo. Nearly full. Or maybe it's just chilling at it anyway. So unfortunately, we're stuck at 95. Who knows the reason? Is it the EV320? Is it capped at 95? Look at the dirt over there. A lot of fast food flying around here. Let's keep our eyes on the vehicle. And the 
charger. So, it is going up to 96, but it doesn't teach us a lot, which is disappointing. We can hear a buzz here. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. 26 degrees now and 100 kilowatts so yeah is this proof <laughs> of anything you can decide for yourself uh, what would have happened if i didn't unplug and if i didn't turn on the wow if i didn't turn on the blinkers good question but this i've never had this speed before with the jaguar is the EV320 the secret charging miracle, the special sauce that Jaguar always promised us and they're now unleashing it to the world and did they even announce this? Are they promising 105 kilowatts? I'm amazed and I also don't know if it would have happened if I kept the charge running on the last session but it really didn't seem to uh, because it really went down from being at 100 kilowatts and it stayed at 95 pretty stable I charged four and a half minutes I think in the last session I have to check the logs and it really went down to 95 coming from 100 so yeah of course you would need more vehicles that have done the same driving on the same day to have the same battery temperature and everything and then ideally you charge them all and you let some of them do uh, the alarm lights and some of them you don't but in my test that I have been doing here you can clearly see that running the alarm lights on the EV320 is even more beneficial than it's already been proven by many many drivers of the EV400 in the Netherlands because I've been recommending this and other people have been trying this and documenting this but if you run the alarm lights on your Jaguar EV320 the new model then you can get stable 105 kilowatt charging speed um, which amazes me after tens of thousands of kilometers with the Jaguar the older model and this is a rental car in the Netherlands I rented this one as you can see it over here for less than 200 euros for the weekend and yeah I cannot get you a better rental car in this country for that money if you can please let me know because uh, I'm always looking forward to try new vehicles One hundred five kilowatt charging speed stable with the EV three twenty at Fastnet Tafelbergweg in Amsterdam. The time prediction is not really changed a lot. You can see power cruise control agrees. Thank you for watching the unlock of amazing charging speed with the EV320 of course in 2021 people will say that the Jaguar should charge even faster okay good luck to you it has three-phase AC charging though and look at this. it was never intended to be a long session so I'll say good night to you now
time to turn them off again. Turn the car back on. And we're leaving with 18 and a half kilowatt hours.